Not anymore. I've been relieved of my duties. How was the game? Did you win the second game yet? Oh, are you kidding me? He's going back to his stupid fantasy football chat. Not everyone there cares about fantasy football. Even if I did, that's not something that people waiting 20 minutes for a drink is concerned about. What's up guys, it's your boy Alan again, back with another video. And today, we're gonna watch another episode of Bar Rescue. But before we start, don't forget to hit that subscribe button and uh, let's go check this out. Sandbar Sports Grill. I'm no stranger to this area, having gone to the University of Miami, and if I'm not mistaken, I used to come to this bar. With a bar? That's pretty funny. Yeah, I wonder if something changed about it that made it not popular anymore. Because if it lasted this long, it must have some huge history with the locals. So Coconut Grove, Florida is one of the more affluent areas of Florida. Household income can go up to a few hundred thousand dollars a year. What do you think of this place, Gavin? It's certainly not hitting the market. I mean, sounds like the neighborhood got a little bit wealthier, so I can see maybe that's why this college bar isn't working out. It's not adapting to what the more wealthier clientele wants. I mean, you don't have to change it completely, but you have to adapt to the changing neighborhood. Coconut Grove, it's not what I remember. I remember a vibrant college town. And the bars are packed till two in the morning. Yeah. Now this neighborhood is quiet by 11 o'clock It seems night. really quiet. Yep, that's what I thought. The neighborhood changed. And now Mia confirms that it did change. And that's probably why the bar is not working because it's not meeting the demands of the new neighborhood. Mia, when you went here, was it the same? Yes. It's Older. so outdated. You can tell that they haven't kept up anything. Even if you want to preserve the tradition, you got to repair some stuff. That chair, who's going to sit on that chair? If you're not going to fix it, you might as well just get out of the way because I can't imagine anyone who wants to sit on something like that with exposed foam. Who knows what liquids or whatever could get absorbed by that. So there's Albert. Albert is the general manager. He can't tend bar. He can't cook. He doesn't know how to serve tables. He doesn't know how to do anything. So how did he get that position as a general manager if he has no experience? There's Matt. Matt is the co-owner with Albert. Matt was in the restaurant business. There's Donnie. Well, that's good. Somebody has some experience. But how did the GM with no experience get a higher position when that other owner has more experience than him? Like, that's what I want to know. And a full kitchen in the back. Table's all wobbly. Okay, I'll do the category five hurricane. Let me yeah. try that. Yeah. Well, Miami is known for its hurricanes. Oh. What is that? Is that orange juice? Out of. That orange juice looks super clear. It's also kind of gross to use orange juice from a gun, especially when you're in Florida. How much money are you gonna save using orange juice from a gun compared to juice from a carton? How's that? It tastes like just straight syrupiness. Ugh. Yeah. How's the beer? Flat. Flat. Try it. Try it. A college bar. If there's one thing that you have to get right, it's the beer. Especially the draft system. I'm gonna assume that the cooling system is not working. Pulls the CO2 out of the beer. Goes flat. Those kegs are warm because they're sitting in a darn dining room. So we have. What? Why are the beers sitting on a dining room? I understand that if you have empty kegs that just ran out of space and you need to wait until they get picked up, but if there's beer inside the kegs, you're supposed to store them in a walk-in where they remain cold. Yeah, it's not my favorite. Is there a, is there a drink that you would personally recommend? We have them throw a whiskey conco concoction together back there? Yeah, this, can you make an old-fashioned? Every bartender should know how to make it. Why did he hesitate? Does he even know what an old-fashioned is? Neither hate you love him that he's making old-fashioned. I'm a bartender. There is Shakira. Bartender? You are not supposed to shake an old-fashioned. That was the old-fashioned? She's shaking it? It's the spirit for drink. It needs to be stirred. Cocktail. Oh, in a martini glass. Sophisticated. What did she think? <laughs> old-fashioned, served on the rocks. An old-fashioned glass. It's named after it. Why is it in a martini glass? What did she make? Did she make a shake in Manhattan? Like, what's going on here? This is his makeup drink. I can tell you it's too cloudy for an old-fashioned, I think. Yeah, it's cloudy because it was shaken. Spirit for cocktails, you need to stir it because you don't want to aerate it. You don't want to ruin the texture of the drink. If it's just spirit for it, you want to stir it so it retains the silky texture. 
We were peeling apart the fish uh, tacos that were frozen and don't look fresh at all. Dude, is that even cooked? It doesn't even look cooked. If you look at it, look how great that is. Cooked fish should be flaky. How do you mess up fish? Fish is one of the easiest things to cook. Especially these are fish tacos. They're fried. I thought he left. I didn't, I've never seen him at all tonight. Dolphins 2817. <laughs> you know what he's doing? Fantasy football. He's not even trying anymore. Are you kidding me? That place looked like, you know, had a decent dinner crowd and he's just playing video games on a computer. Dude, you should be helping busing and running food right now. Three dishes that aren't gonna make this table sick. What do you suggest? Fajitas do, chi do chicken fajitas. Um, yep. Yep. Yeah. Fajitas um, one. Um, um, what else? Um, do they not know their own food? You have four employees here, one bartender and two servers, and they don't know the food that they're selling. Uh, let's do... Um, um, it worries me that we can't name three things. Uh, yeah, you have more people there than the items that he asked if you... Like, this can't be happening. At some point, don't you just cut your losses? I mean, we're gonna just keep giving them food till they find something uh, they like? It's hospitality. Come on. So what is it? Did the GM really said that? Just keep giving them food until they find something that they like? You should not be okay with them returning so much food. If you're gonna sell food, you have to be proud of it. Like the raw fish. That needs to be communicated to the kitchen so they won't make that mistake again. That's, look at how much smoke. That's burning. That pan is too hot. Right underneath the smoke alarm, so I don't know if that's going to go off. How's that? Rubbery. It's, like... it's probably overcooked because the cast iron is too hot. It might have left perfect temperature, but now that it's continuing to cook off of that really hot cast iron, now it's overcooked. Only four teams. Three, three winners. Matt! Taffer. John Taffer, how are you? How are you? I have the second best record in the league, and I'm still in fourth place. He's talking about fantasy football to his customers? Why do we, would they care? You should be worrying about the guest's experience right now. How's your fantasy football league doing? It's doing Is very it? well. Yes. How's your bar doing? Bar's not doing as well. Did he see what happened at the table with these two? How long have you owned this bar? Uh, five years. Do you know how had 10 bar? Five years? and he has no experience after being an owner here for five years. You didn't learn how to bartend. You don't have to become a master mixologist behind the bar, but you have to know something. You have to know how to read the guests. Well, first of all, you should be paying attention to the guests. Two guys who've been ordering the whole menu, sending food back. That should be a red flag. All he's thinking about is his fantasy football league. Do you know how to cook? No. What do you know how to do? What are you doing? I'm here because I love this place. I talk to the customers. You were here for fantasy football. I mean, you didn't do got you made, man. No, you don't. Yeah, how's he, why did he give himself the position of being a GM if he's not qualified for it? Like, if I wasn't qualified to be cook, I wouldn't assign myself as a chef. So you're saying what? Because I don't know how to tend bar or because I don't know how to cook? Because you own a business for five years and you haven't learned the thing. Can't you contribute? Yeah, like I said, you don't have to learn how to be a master mixologist, you don't have to learn how to be a chef. You don't have to know how to be a host. You don't have to be good at any of these things, but you still have to make an effort to learn how these positions work. You have to know how the bar works. So if they need ice, you can grab ice. If they need glassware to wash, then you know how to bust glassware and run it through the dishwasher. You're more effective as a support system if you understand how certain processes work. Rather than taking up space and talking fantasy football, what if you attended bar tonight and saved us a salary? What What's right about this is that I'm here. Maybe it would be right if you weren't here. I could bring somebody in who could do something. Yeah, like you can be an owner and not work. You just can't give yourself a salary. Just be a silent investor. But right now he's giving himself a salary, but he's not doing anything. So he's paying himself for getting in the way. What do we got, Mia? I feel like I need a shower. Everything about this bar is disgusting. I found bugs in bottles. Big. See the big ones? So, guys, how do these giant cockroaches get into these tiny little pour spouts? I'm not a fan of having pour spouts on the back bar. I always prefer the pour spouts only being on the bottles that are directly on the speed well. Because if it's on the back bar, it could be neglected for weeks, months. Even if you're covering it, nothing protects the bottles more than the original caps that these bottles come with. It's got to turn around or you're done. I have to be done, yeah. You're going to be left with the owner who doesn't know how to do anything and doesn't really care because this guy's got to come through for his family. You need to be a better partner. You're just not going to be happy, are you? You me. Are you serious? You're losing money from this too. He knows what he's doing. And you're just playing fantasy football and not even caring. Going out to the guests and talking about fantasy football. And he is about to leave. He's the only one who seems to know what he's doing. 
What are you going to do if he leaves? Only way you can turn this around is by making him believe he can count on you. Tell him you're sorry, you f***ed him. How is this happening? Do you not understand how unqualified you are? You assigned yourself as a GM and you have no experience. And in five years, you still haven't learned anything. Is this an ego thing? Like, what's going on? If he leaves, you're screwed. I want Albert to embrace the bar, learn it, and appreciate that it has to have quality. You're gonna work in the kitchen, Matt? Okay. Albert, I wanna get you exposed to the bar. <laughs> this is gonna be interesting. You're gonna put the only front of the house person who knows what he's doing and putting him in the kitchen. Which, I mean, maybe he, <laughs> he looks like he knows more about the back of the house than in your other staff. I mean, it is true. This other co-owner, he needs to be exposed to more of what's going on in the front of the house. Like, he can't run this place without learning anything. Classic hurricane. You guys had five versions of them, and they were terrible. Taste the difference between fresh juices and the syrup that you've been using. Albert is not taking... Are you kidding me? He's... What? Is this the only thing that's important to him? This stupid fantasy football thing? Your business is gonna fail, and all you care about is a stupid game. Albert, you've gotta take this seriously. I want you guys to try this. This is a properly balanced hurricane. What do you think, Albert? I wouldn't order it. Weird, okay. You, your, all your drinks are off of gun. There's no shaking, there's no citruses. This guy probably doesn't even have a palate. Now, I want a few of you to come back and start making them yourselves. We're going to start with Albert. Uh... You're gonna make me a real hurricane. Okay. I don't remember it though. She just showed it like two minutes ago. Okay, it's a hurricane. It's gonna start with. I'm guessing so. Right you there? are guessing. Yes, I... What's the base spirit? <laughs> you have three bottles up on the bar on display. Like, you have 33% chance of getting it right. Three quarter ounce? That's your favorite measurement. Not everything is three quarter ounces. Three quarters. Half. Half. Okay, so this I've never done before, so. You've never shaken a cocktail? Are you kidding me? You've never shaken a cocktail. You've been doing this five years. Not even at home, you've never shaken a drink. I want to see him not speak. I want to see him do. You know, how far behind are we? Uh, about 10 hurricanes behind. I got the move. Hey, did you beat me in fantasy football today? Taco's coming. Are they, is this really happening? They're talking about fantasy football in the middle of this busy service. If he pours this right, I'm gonna be impressed. Moment of truth. I got a problem here. Look at the difference. Are they out of glassware? They're using plastic cups now? You've made two cocktails in the time it has taken Shakira to make 12. He doesn't know what he's doing at all. He doesn't even care, does he? He has no business being behind this bar. Donnie, yo. You nobody expected him to be great from a stress test, and we all know that he doesn't have any bartending experience. But it's so important to put an owner or manager behind the bar like this to understand how busy it can get. So you can sympathize with the bartender, and you can actually realize why there are times that they need more glassware. Because right now, they run out of hurricane glasses, and now they're using plastic cups. Things like this is important, so you can uh, understand how hard it is to be behind the bar. He can't do this, right? Why don't you get behind the bar, and you go on the floor? Doesn't matter to me what John thinks. I just pulled your partner out from behind the bar. I just, there was nobody in front of me that didn't have a drink. Nobody. You just had people return the hurricanes because they had too much grenadine. It doesn't matter if you're giving them a drink, it's not the right drink because you're not making it correctly. I don't care, I'm sick of it. I can't bartend and be back here, and that frustrates me. No, I understand that. But we are in a situation where you got a partner who couldn't. What is he doing? It's not time to take selfies with your customers right now. Do something, at least be busting the glassware. As we saw earlier, they were short on the hurricane glasses, right? At least just make yourself useful and bust. I gotta start a college fund, John. Oh. Hey, can you make me a drink, sir? Not anymore. I've been relieved of my duties. How was the game? Did you win the second game yet? Oh! Are you kidding me? He's going back to his stupid fantasy football chat. Is that the only thing he knows what to do? Like, how to talk about? He has no idea, like, asking them if they need something. If they're waiting on something. Literally, not everyone there cares about fantasy football. Even if I did, I wouldn't be talking about it if I don't have a drink if I don't have my food. That's not something that people go to a bar waiting 20 minutes for a drink is concerned about.
How do you think we did tonight? We got hit pretty hard, you know, the, we're, we're understaffed. Understaffed? We've done stress tests with nobody on the floor and done better. Yeah, and you were maxed out on the speed wells, so it's not like you can put in more bartenders. They were definitely properly staffed. It just the communication was just so poor. A lot of the people here are not trained, including the GM. You just want to hang out and have fun, but you don't want to work for it. You figured that out? You're a freaking cancer in this business. Then why am I here? Why am I taking this abuse? I don't know I'm why. Invest in here. Why don't I just leave? Well, maybe you should. Yeah, you should leave. Just sell your shares because you're getting in the way. You, you're giving yourself a salary that you don't deserve because you don't have any experience. This guy literally straight up gave himself the highest position and he doesn't know anything. And even in five years, he made no effort to learn something, nothing. I didn't buy into this business to operate it by myself. I bought into this business because I wanted an operating partner. He would take 70 grand to walk away. I need him as a partner and I oh, need him as a friend. Now him. You need to know that if you're out of here, this place goes down faster. Yeah, we all knew that. The problem isn't that he's not pitching in and doing his part of the work. The thing is he can't do it alone. That was the whole point. He can't do it alone because all he cares about is fantasy football. The beauty about all of these proteins is that they don't take a long time to cook. So the guests are doing the cooking, but what you guys need to do is create the atmosphere, the presentation. So what's so cool about this concept is that for this dish, the customers are going to be cooking. So it takes a little bit of the pressure out of the kitchen. You ready, Sid? Let's do it! All right. Oh my god. Whoa. <laughs> Unbelievable. <laughs> that looks so much more classier. Like, even as a college bar, the other thing, you know, sheet metal, it, it gives a little, you know, rustic feel to it, but the neighborhood's changing. The average income's going up. Like, it needed to change. And now this looks like a place that is more fitting to the changing neighborhood. Yeah, it's way cleaner. Doesn't look like a college dive bar anymore. We said earlier, there's nothing wrong with it. The neighborhood just changed. It, this place needed to evolve. And when you have furniture like this nice, people are willing to spend extra money for the elevated experience. Hey, if you enjoyed that, don't forget to check out these other videos as well. And please leave on the comment section on what videos I should react to next. And if you haven't done so already, don't forget to like and subscribe. And I'll see you guys on the next one.